Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 429 NRA tree level order traversal. So given an NRA, return the level order traversal of its nodes values. NRA tree input serialization is represented in their level order traversal. Each group of children is separated by the null value. So in example one, we have this NRA tree. So an NRA tree is just a tree where the children of each node can be up to N length. So as you can see here, one has three children, three has two children, so it's up to n lengths. The output here is one, three, two, four, five, and six, because we've got the level of traversal of one, three, two, four, five, six, going from left to right. So how do we solve this? Because it's asking for level order traversal, we are going to be using breadth first search. And breadth first search uses a queue data structure, which restricts the process in order of first in, first out. We are going to need some kind of level size to keep track of the inner loop within the BFS, we're going to have the level, which will be equal to an array. And we also need a results array. So we always initialize the queue with the root uh, when doing a level or traversal, so we can add that in here. So this is a reference node to the root. The level size is going to be equal to the current queue length. So we can add one into that. So we can start the BFS. So if we shift off of Q and we look at one, we look at its children. So we have three, two, and four. So we can push those into Q. Now we can add one into level because that has been seen. And then we can decrement level size to zero. And once level size is equal to zero, we just push level into res and reset level. So we're gonna have one in res. And now we repeat the process. So Q is of length three, so we update level size. We shift off of Q, so we look at three. So three is no longer in the Q. We check its children, so it has five and six, so we can add them into the Q. Now that three has been seen, we can add it into level and we decrement level size. Okay, so now we just repeat the process. So we shift off of Q, the value of two. So two is no longer in the Q. We check its children, it doesn't have any. So we just add two to level and then we decrement level size to one. Then we shift off of Q, we look at four, four is no children. So we add four to level, we decrement level size. Level size is now equal to zero, so we can push level into res. So three, two, four, and then reset level. So we have five and six left in Q, that means the level size is equal to two. Now we can shift off of Q, Check five, five doesn't have any children. So we add that into level. We decrement level size to one. We do the same with six. So we shift off a Q the value of six. We look, it doesn't have any children either. So we add that into levels. Level size is decremented to zero. And now because level size is zero, we can push that into res. Q is now empty. So we exit that and we just return this as the output. So the time complexity of this algorithm is going to be O of N and space complexity is also O of n. So firstly, we need to say if root is equal to null, we can return an empty array. We can initialize the queue with root, initialize result array, and then while queue.length, so we can start the BFS, at level equal to an empty array, and we also need to create level size, and that will be equal to queue.length, which goes through level by level. We shift off the current value, so q.shift. We loop through the children, so i is less than current.children.length, i++. Plus plus. And then if current children at i is present, then we can push that value into q. So current children at i. Once we've done that, once we've done that and checked the current node, we can push the value of the current node into level and then decrement level size. Once we finish each entire level, we need to push into results the level. And then we just return results. Submit it. And there you go.